the fire. I have something very special to show you. What? What? Come on, show me. You know what these are? Of course I know. These are pearls. Very good. And where do you think they came from? Well, from a shop, I suppose. Well, that would certainly have been easier. But no. Many years ago, my father, your grandfather, got these from their original home. Where's that? From the oysters where they grew. And he dived way down to the bottom of the sea for them. So his hands were the field to hold these pearls. In those days, if you wanted something, you had to go and get it. All of our country was like this desert now. If you wanted food, you had to hunt for it. Water, there were no taps. You had to travel for it. And to earn money, your grandpa would set out to sea, diving, diving, and diving again for pearl. It was tiring and dangerous work, but it gave us what we needed to live until the disaster came. Why? What happened? In the early 1930s, people found a way to make pearls rather than dive for them. And suddenly, no one wanted the grandpa's pearls anymore. Life became very tough for him and for thousands of people. So what happened? It was like Allah was watching over our country. Because at the same time as people stopped buying our pearls, a new and very valuable gift was being discovered. I know oil. That's right. Oil explorers came from everywhere in search of oil. And they found it. So everyone's problems were over. Now the country was rich, yes? Ah, but it took more than just money to set us on the path to a better life. What do you mean? It needed a man of honor and character to lead us there. You mean Sheikh Zaid, right? I do, of course. He believed that it was people, not dollars, that would make our country great. He could see our future clearly. He saw that the Emirates would be stronger if we all joined together. So along with Sheikh Rashid and the rulers of other states, he formed the United Arab Emirates. And of course, he became the first president as well. He built roads, hospitals, airports, schools. He created opportunities for women, including universities. And only a generation later, just look at us now. in Formula One. Oh, yes. And we learned that Master City will be completely powered by the sun and the wind and no carbon. And we have the world's tallest building. And the palm. And the incredible hotels. And, and the metro. And... Yes, I get it. We have so much to be proud of. But you know, it's not just technology and new buildings that say we have come a long way. What else then? What about the treasures in our museums? The art that hangs in our galleries. And the magnificent new Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. And what about all the places you and your friends have fun? I bet we had more fun than you did when you were nine. Uh-huh. Every generation thinks that. But you know, the more things change and move on, the more we should remember where we have come from. Some of the greatest things were created by nature, not by man. Like this desert? Like this desert, yes. And like these beautiful pearls. 
Here, put your hands together. It's a time to pass them on to you, as my father did to me. So when you are grown up, they will remind you of the journey that he started and which you are carrying on. Now, get some sleep. Tomorrow, we head for the city.